I'm Clay Archer. This is Adam Beatos, and we're at Fenton County! We are coming to you live here in Viking Country for our game day show this week. Adam, this is your hometown, this is your home school. What does it mean for you to be back here? Alrighty, so as always, like what we get to do is start every single show. We got to give out our Taco Bell gift cards. So let me see where the sign's at. Who's got the sign? All right, we got our sign. We're gonna come on up here, my man. Number one, what's your favorite thing we're talking about? Uh, the crunch wrap. Crunch wrap, okay, okay, good choice, good choice. Now, if you had to choose between LeBron James or Michael Jordan to be here at this game on Friday, which one would you pick? LeBron James. All right, we, all right, there we go. Elijah, he gets his $25 gift card, and the crowd is absolutely loving it. Congratulations, my man. Thank you. All righty. All righty, so Adam, we get the $25 gift card out of the way. Congratulations to Elijah. Now, there's one person that I didn't get the pleasure of speaking of when we came on the show. He had the best drip of anyone to be on our show. The one, the only, Coach Carter. Coach. Coach, I just want to say again, thank you for coming on. That Mike Tyson shirt you had on last time, I wish I was there, but it was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so, Coach, I want to ask you, you've really turned this football program around. I almost want to call you Coach Carter instead of Coach Carper, the way that you've pulled this around. What's it mean to you to be a Viking and, and turn this thing around? You know, man, it's um, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, uh, first opportunity to be a head coach, you know, and just, you know, just have the chance to, to work with the uh, – a fine group of young men and, and, and just, you know, just and just bring the knowledge that I have and that I've acquired over the years of me playing and, and um, you know, and coaching, you know, and just to give back to these kids. You know, I've always said, like, my wife's from here, and I've always said, you know, looking at Vinton County just in the past, they got guys, they got dudes that can play. You know, so, you know, it was just a matter of getting them to buy in, getting them to, you know, do the right things, getting them to, you know, be gung-ho about – you know, an opportunity to play football, you know. So, you know, it means a lot to me, man, and I'm just I'm just excited to be here and be a part of this community. I think one thing that's absolutely underrated, what you bring to this, absolute swag. I think it's fun to watch you guys. It looks like you're having fun out there, yeah. having a good time. Uh, you guys have really found some success this year in the running game. Now you're starting to get some uh, passing game incorporated. Can you kind of talk about uh, your offense for me this year and, and how good you guys have been? Yeah, man, you know, it's, uh, it's really starting to, you know, turn up for us. You know, we've been um, – it's been two years in the making. You know, our, our first year we got here, we were in wing tee and mostly, you know, run, run, run the football. And, you know, and you can't be one dimensional. So, you know, last year was like, you know, how can we take this thing to the next level? And, you know, we uh, started doing some things and, and just progressing. And I've always said, like, the, the guys that we have now, our seniors that we've had now, you know, they've kind of been our, our rock for the past couple of years. Right. And, you know, you want to be able to utilize everybody you got. You want to be able to utilize Parker. You want to be able to utilize uh, Ian Moeller and Matt Hembry and Gare Brown. And, Dogs, and, absolutely. Yeah, you know, and, and Lane Haber and all those guys. And then, you know, and up front, you know, you have, like, athletes up front. They're not just big guys. They can run. They can move. They can do a lot of things. So, you know, I was just trying to figure out a way how we can incorporate all of that together. And, um, you know, and, and – with Andy and, and, and Coach Games, you know, those guys over there, we, you know, we sat down and was like, well, you know, we can evolve this thing into, you know, kind of like a gun T, right. gun T type right. deal. Still want to be able to run the ball, but gives you a little bit more um, in the passing game as well, yeah. you know, and just to utilize all your athletes. So, you know, we've done a really good job using our flow charts and stuff like that and, and guys getting the ball this year and just spreading the wealth around. So, you know, um, it's, uh, it's just fun to watch. Six, you know, six yeah. and one, I'll say, yeah, yeah. Oh, a good job. There. Yeah, man, yeah, man, you know, you know it's, 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 it's been great. You know, the kids have bought in, and it's been amazing. Hey, yeah, Adam, I know you had a couple questions for Coach. Yeah, really, I was just uh, I was, I was just going to ask, you know, so close to being over that six and four hump that you were talking about breaking, yep. you're so close to breaking it. Did you yep. expect to break it so early in the season, you know, already in week eight? You know, like there was, 
it wasn't really like uh, we were looking to to, to break it or, or whatever like that. But you know, you look at the guys, and it's like, man, we got the pieces to be able to, to get over that 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 hump. You know what I mean? Like we got the guys, we got the pieces. We just have to be able to to put it all together. You know, and and when you put it all together, and you look at at what each kid can do, what kid, each kid can bring to the table, you know, it, it gets you excited because you know we can. Like we just talked about, like spreading the ball around and stuff like that. And then defensively, you know, we've always been a good defensive team. But, you know, I think Coach Phillips uh, coming in this year has definitely gave us a little bit more of an edge with some of the things that he wants to do uh, defensively. So we've always had the pieces to do it. You know, it was just about putting it together and being patient enough. You know, like last year, you know, we were, I think we were like, <laughs> I mean, we were overhyped last year. I mean, people were saying, oh, yeah, they're going to win, you know, 12, 13 games. You know, they're going to – they're a region championship team and things like that, and, you know, the pressure is on you. You know, but when you look at it, you want to evolve. You want to be able to grow. You want to be able to, you know, to, to make sure that you're doing the right things. And last year we just wasn't ready. You know, like just the things that we done last year, we just wasn't ready for it to be like that. But this year, you know, we kind of evolved. We learned from our mistakes last year. And we were able to, you know, put together something that, you know, is special here. You know, so, so yeah, getting over that hump, man, it's been it's been a grind, you know, and I'm happy that we're over it, you know, it, but the work don't stop. You know, work don't stop. We got to continue to go. We got to continue to grind. We got to put our head down and just, you know, drown out the oh, noise, yeah. drown out the, you know, don't drink the Kool-Aid, yeah. you know, because yeah. you yeah. don't know what's yeah. in the Kool-Aid, you know, so. I'll tell you one thing, I'm ready to <laughs> that brick wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the only question I had. <laughs> All right, Coach, so uh, this is the ride the way. We do extensive journalism here. We make sure we ask the hard questions. Yeah, right? So if you had to pick one coach to feed the team, who are you picking and what are they cooking? Man, they already know the answer. Like, it's, it's Coach Fry, man. <laughs> right. Coach Fry, right. Right. And it's a hamburger. Like, All right. Okay. He got this special, like, hamburger, like, like seasoning that he put on it. And it's, like, it's amazing. Alrighty. So, Fry, if you're watching this, man, I'm going to need about, you know, 20 of them things. Though. Big 21. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> want myself. I'm a big cheeseburger guy. So, hey, uh, Coach Carper, it's awesome to get to talk to you, man. And we're really excited yeah, to man. see this team come out here on Friday. And uh, best of luck to you. Yeah, boss. I appreciate that, man. The one and only Coach Carper! Yeah. All right, Adam, what an absolute legend here at Vinton County, bringing success back to the football program. Oh, absolutely. Anytime, anytime I get a chance to talk to Coach here, I'll jump on it just because he's just so full of knowledge. It's always a fun conversation. You know, it's just I'm glad I wouldn't have anybody else out here coaching for us. You know, he's definitely doing the right thing, getting us in the right direction. Uh, like I've always said, he's brought back the winning mentality to Vinton County. It's something yeah. I'm excited to see. Hell yeah. All righty, so a couple games that we want to talk about last week. Paint Valley beats Piketon in a huge comeback. If you're in the SVC, watch out for my Bearcats. They are coming for that gold ball. Big 49-30 win. Adam, what was the game last week that kind of popped out to you? Honestly, it was the game that we covered last week being the Huntington Southeastern game just because it was an upset. You know, I almost picked Huntington to upset them on the, their own homecoming, but something told me not to. I wish I would have listened to myself. But, yeah, just the surprise out of Huntington, I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to them maybe possibly upsetting your Bearcats this week. No, so no, that's no, a, no, no. That's a game that I'm uh, looking <laughs> no, forward no, no, to this no, no, week no. as well. So, uh, uh, you know, speaking of Southeastern, we were on our way out there last week, right? And it looked like they had a bulldozer out there. And then I looked a little bit closer, and it was actually a back from Vinton County, the one and only Garrett Brown. All right, so Drip is just a standard here at Vinton County. One second. Look at this amazing shirt. That is awesome. Well, first off, where'd you get that, man? Paxson. Excellent. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to have to make sure I get over there because that shirt is absolutely dripping. Garrett, how is your uh, Wednesday going here? It's going amazing. It's going with practice. And Heck yeah. It's going great. Heck yeah. All righty. So, Garrett, I want to ask you, what's it been like playing for Coach Carper? He seems like a real passionate guy, but it seems like he also, you know, sets the standard high. So, what, what's it like getting to play for a coach like that? It's awesome. I mean, he brings out the best in all of us, and every single day he's, he's on us in a good way, and it just – it makes us better every single day. Heck yeah. Uh, so I, I want to ask you, you guys just don't just seem like teammates out there. It seems like a brothership, you know what I mean? So what? how has that brothership kind of led to the success out on the field with all of these Ws? Right. Well, I mean, we're all together three to four hours a, a day. I mean, that's not even including school. Yeah. Like Monday through Saturday, we're all together. 
and I mean, we have to be close. Right. There, there's no other way. All right. Mean, so on the field, we just show that, and this is how it is. It is, man. I, I I remember when I played in school, man. It's whenever it's like brothers out there, it's like chemistry. You don't have to tell each other what's going on. And then when it leads to the W's, it makes it so much easier. Uh, Adam, I know you had a couple questions for the bulldozer here. Uh, really, I just had one question, and it's, uh, it's just, what does it mean to be a Viking? Like, what does it mean to play for Vinton County? Uh, what it means to be a Viking is just hard work every day, coming in, getting your stuff done, and doing extra every single day, and then getting home, doing more extra. It's just constant, and it's amazing. Yeah. Well, I absolutely love it. And then one more thing, just want to say thank you again for helping me so much this this year in fantasy. <laughs> yeah. You've just been killing it, breaking in the point, so I appreciate that, my man. <laughs> All righty, so, uh, Garrett, again, we are the Ride the Wave Show. We ask very tough questions around here, so give us your best answer. If you could pick three celebrities to be at this game on Friday to show off in front of, who's it going to be? Let's see. So we got Zach Bryan for sure. Okay, okay. Amazing artist. Big country star. Let's see. Uh, Shane Gillis. Okay. You know who that is? Okay. He's yeah. like a comedian. Uh, stand-up last He's awesome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then the last one's got to be Anakin Skywalker. Oh, yes! 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 This is why he's the best back in the TVC right there. Okay. We got one more question for you. You know, pregame uh, rituals are cool, also crazy. So who on your team has the craziest pregame ritual and don't feel to have to leave out any team? No. Okay. Where's Clayton Lesser at? Oh! <laughs> This guy right here, before every game, we have we have a sign that we go out and slap before every game. He headbutts it. <laughs> All right. Every single game. That is amazing. All righty. So if he's hitting you hard, it's because he has no more feeling because of that amazing ritual. Yes. Garrett, again, thank you so much. It's so awesome to get to watch you run. Um, I will try to start a GoFundMe for the medical bills. You probably have to pay to the defenders that you're running over. Uh, but everybody, the one and only Garrett Brown. Adam, again, another amazing kid. When he said Anakin Skywalker, I mean, I just knew this is a real deal kind of guy. Oh, absolutely. I love his first two picks. Zach yeah. Ryan, I, I found out about him on Twitter like, yeah. when he first started coming out, so I, I love that he picked him. Yeah. Just phenomenal. phenomenal. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So getting into some games that we're looking forward to this week, other than the Vikings hosting their homecoming, I got to look forward to that Waverly versus Wheelersburg uh, game, Adam. Waverly, you know, they, they lost to Miami Trace, who we're still trying to figure out who they are this year. Um, and then they go lose to a very good West team in a very close game, came down to the last play. Wheelersburg is Wheelersburg, so I don't really think I need to extend too much on that. They're 3-3. Three and three. I think they're looking to get right, but I, I feel like Waverly, with all the adversity they've had to overcome this year, I, I think they finally put it together and they get a win over the Pirates. I'm gonna have to agree with you. I just I like that Waverly team so much. It seems like they're they're they got a couple stars out there with the uh, receivers being swords. Uh, they also got a uh, Jace Hurd out there in the backfield. Kelly's an amazing he's an amazing quarterback out there. I think I think they absolutely get it as well. Heck yeah. So what's a game that you're thinking that you're liking this week, Adam? Uh, so a game that I'm liking this week is gonna be the uh, Ohio State Michigan, so to speak, game in uh, right. high school football around here, being uh, Uniota versus Saint Trace. I think. I think Union is looking to avenge a loss they took last year. Uh, there was a game of inches, and last game, last year's game was definitely a, a case of that. So, I, th I think Union of Zane Trace is going to be a real good game this year. I think so too. I think it's going to be a game to look forward to because you have the experience of Zane Trace kind of coming up to pull up the win last year, right? But this year, Union I feel like has gained that experience. They've been in that big game. They've been in the playoffs. So now it's a really. I think you know last year came down to uh, inches. Came down to basically the last play, a one point victory. I think we see that exact same win again this year. Uh, but I think Union. I, I hate to be the team playing the team that's pissed off. I'll say it all year. So um, I, th I think that's going to be a good game to look forward to. Now, something that other teams don't look forward to is absolutely getting hit so hard that their helmets fly off. Um, I'm talking about a guy that I'm pretty sure Dan Campbell loves because I think he eats kneecaps for breakfast. It is the one, the only, James Wayne. So officially, I got beat with the best beard on this on the uh, show. I think Adam just got beat as well. Uh, James, I want to ask you: Do kneecaps taste better fried or raw? Raw. 
All right, that is even scarier for anyone out there getting ready to get destroyed by him. So, James, uh, every time we watch uh, Vinton County, it feels like you have to pay the other team rent for how much you're in their backfield. Uh, what kind of what kind of technique are you kind of using to just pretty much win your one-on-one -on -one matchups every week? Yeah, you know, it's just a little bit of power and speed. Pass off the ball, heavy hands, get past them. Yeah. Easy play. Heck yeah, man. It looks like uh, you're not... Uh, Honestly, it looks like your dad might be the Hulk, so that might help you too, being quick and strong. Um, when I was a defensive lineman, I remember relying heavily on my linebackers, you know, if I need to switch, what uh, gap I need to get into, where the blitz is coming, everything like that. We talked about with Garrett the kind of brothership that you guys have out here. What's it like on the defensive side, knowing uh, you have to rely on your backers getting you where you need to be? I mean, it gets loud Friday night, so you can't always hear your backers. And if you're lined up wrong, they'll come over, smack you on the side, tell you which way they need to go, need you to go, tell you if you're right, lined up wrong, right or wrong. So you yeah. know, with them behind you, you ain't got to worry, worry about too much. They're, they take care of you back there. Yeah, so uh, I want to ask, too, it looks like every single game you guys might be giving up zero to, like, seven points. I mean, it's insane. What, what, kind, uh, what kind of pride do you guys take on not giving up so many points as a defense? I mean, in practice, we do six from the six. If they score, it's up, downs, push ups. It's a lot of stuff you don't want to do. So I don't want to do it. Just, I, I hate it. Listen to it. I'm already sweating. <laughs> so, I mean, you might as well get the job done and not worry about it. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. Adam, I know you had a couple questions. Well, yeah, first, I just want to say thank you to you and the rest of the Benton County defense again because I picked you guys up. You've only let up two touchdowns since I've had you on my fantasy team. So, thank you. You guys are doing amazing out there. Uh, but, yeah, again, I just had the same question I had before is what does it mean to be a Viking to you? I mean, Practice hard every day, five days a week. Even on Saturdays, we come in, get ice, watch film. That's about it. Just a lot of work, hard work, dedication, getting the job done. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. It's sounding like the Viking way is uh, hard work, yeah. dedication. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how you know when you're going to come up with a bunch of W's is all this hard works. Uh, so, again, we ask the hard questions around here, okay? So I'm going to ask you a couple hard questions here. Other than kneecaps, what is a good pregame meal to get you in the zone, get you right for Friday night? Uh, my favorite pregame meal is chicken alfredo. Bread All steak, right. Salad. I knew I was going to love Vinton County, man. We got Angus <laughs> Guy. We got chicken hey, alfredo. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got another We got another question for you. Oh, yeah. Who has the best dance moves on the team? Where's Eli Potter? <laughs> Eli Potter. All right. Eli, Eli, can we see some of your dance moves it's here? The stanky leg right, right now. Oh. Stanky oh. leg. Oh. Oh. That stanky leg is one stanky. Leg here, ladies and gentlemen. All righty. So, uh, James, again, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a blast. Uh, I'm looking forward to, again, having GoFundMe for you as well. I have to pay those hospital bills for the other team. So I'm looking forward to see you guys on Friday. The one, the only, James Sway. All righty, Adam. So, again, another great, great kid to interview here. Honestly, I'm, I'm falling in love with Vinton County every single second that we're here, man. I've been in love with Vinton County. <laughs> I'm surprised it took me so long to pick up their defense. But, yeah, no, I said they're just absolute dogs out here, man. It's yeah. just I love it. I absolutely it's, it's, love it. It's awesome. Whenever you have every single kid preach your hard work, you know that that's why you're going to be successful on the field. That hard work really pays off. Now, somebody that knows about hard work, he's uh, most importantly known as the guy that told Coach Carper, throw the damn ball! And he's also in his third year as the QB coach, top 10 in passing yards and touchdowns in school history, former All-TVC academic, former All-TVC husband, and father of two, the Andy Long. All righty, Andy, so I'll, I'll talk a little, a little bit here, but honestly, I feel like I know you just from how much this guy's told me about you. Uh, it's been really nice to meet you, and thank you so much for coming on the show. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> me too, so if he told you anything, it's not true. Uh, Adam, I'm, I'm going to hand this over to you to uh, introduce our good buddy here. We already gave an intro, so I'm just going to jump right into my, one of my first questions. We kind of talked about it last night, as you said that you had to have a kind of unique relationship with Coach Games over there. You know, I kind of wanted you to speak to that, being you know a former player of his to now being a coach colleague. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if he'd say that, but <laughs> you, you definitely would. But. Uh, it's definitely weird because, like, growing up, I was like, this dude hates me. Like, he's yelling at me all the time. I, was, I made messed up this play, this play, and I get out and I see how hard he is on me. Like, 
Parker, Garrett, some of our starters. I'm like, oh, he just did it because he loved me. <laughs> it was out of love, man. Tough so, love for his real. It, it's, it's a different dynamic because, like, that's one of the guys, like, like growing up, I respected shit out of. And then having him, like, coach with him with now and him teach me all the little things that he's learned, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I said that was one guy that when he ended up leaving and kind of going over to Zane Trace, I was devastated because I just I loved him as a coach here. I felt like he, you know, he's just another guy. He's just kind of like an animal out there, so he just fits well with Benton County. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you, uh, one, one of uh, the best things I got from a coach was my old coach, uh, Coach Dave Shoemaker from Paint Valley. He oh, said, yeah. whenever you're coaching the kids, you got they got to know that you love them, right? Ninety-nine percent. But there's a one percent chance that you might punch him in the damn face. <laughs> so that's how you know that you're being a good coach. So um, what's it been like though, being a star player coming back and trying to uh, put that knowledge onto uh, some of the players here? Uh, like the kids have been saying, man, just put in the work. Yeah, just gotta keep hammering. I mean, when I was coming through, we started off rough. We were one nine, one nine. And my junior year, we went finally broke that seal. We went five and five. I think we lost to four of those five losses were playoff teams. I mean. Yeah, had a tough slate. Had to play Harvest Prep, Lynn Carroll. Harvest Prep last week had a guy that his arm was the size of him. So, yeah, that's. I mean, we, yeah, we yeah. had to play them. Yeah. We, we did pull off that upset. Hell yeah. But, Hell yeah. Uh, you heard it here first, Harvest <laughs> Prep. <laughs> uh, but just coming back and teaching these kids, like, just them building off what we started back yeah. in the day, you know. And now these kids are way more talented than we could have ever been back then. So, oh, yeah. But it's awesome. All righty, Andy. So we're going to get in some games. I know you might not know all of these teams, but that's the best thing about being guest, a celebrity guest picker. No one really gives a shit if you know them or not. <laughs> all right. So for the first game, we're going to go with Paint Valley, 6-1. and one. They are 4-0 uh, in the conference versus Huntington, 1-6, 1-4 and six, one and four in the conference. This is for the Maple Leaf. Huntington, I love you. Huntington, I'm getting a tattoo for you. But Bearcats by 50 easily. Maple Tree is stay at home. <laughs> Adam, your pick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm hoping they make me regret it, but I'm gonna have to pick Pay Valley on this one. I just think that they're just too much for Huntington to handle. Uh, but yeah, I say, I think I think it's gonna be a good game, but I think Pay Valley's gonna. Alrighty, Andy, who are you picking? Who's that wide receiver Pay Valley has? Carson Free, buddy. He's on my fantasy team. He's, he's legit. Yeah. Man. So that being said, Pay Valley picks the score. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All righty. So game number two, we got Adina one and six, one and three in the league at Westfall three and four, one and three. Westfall has that extremely powerful offense. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bryce Wickline is going to be having a field day. Uh, uh, Adina has a powerful offense, but that defense, I feel like, is going to give up a lot of points to Westfall. I got Westfall by a few touchdowns. Adam. Yeah, I think this one might stay a little closer than uh, you know. Maybe I'm thinking like a touchdown. Maybe yeah. I don't think it goes quite two touchdowns, but I think I think Westfall gets it. I think they, their offense is just too much for Adina's defense. But Adina does have that running back. Yeah. Wrestler, so. Yeah. I flipped a quarter. All right, Westfall. All right, all right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that quarter to the casino. <laughs> all righty. So next up, we have the game of the week in the SVC. Zane Trace of the defending chance, five and two. 4-0, trying to get a gold ball, but in front of them this week, they have to travel to Union to take on the 6-1 Shermans, 4-0 in the SVC, also going for the gold ball. Again, last year, this uh, game came down to one point. I think it comes down to one point again this uh, year, Adam, but I think it's in Union's favor. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to agree. I've been drinking the been drinking the Kool Aid over there for the hoops. I think that both. Of, I think that the brothers are starting to get a chemistry together. You know, especially having their dad as a coach. I think that they, they ultimately win. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be at least a touchdown. I think it's it's not gonna be quite one point, but yeah. uh, you know, room for Union on this one. All righty. Those Perkins boys, Union are freaking legit. So. Yeah. That being said, though, Zane Trace gets the upset. I was going to be <laughs> shocked if you went with Union. I'm not going to lie. I, was, I, I would have been shocked. All righty. So, uh, next game on the list, we got Jackson 6-1, 2-0 in the league. They are going to Hillsborough, 4-3, 2-0. Hillsborough, they got a great backfield, but Jackson is Jackson. I'm going to take them big in this one. Yeah, it's always Jackson big. I say, uh, being somebody that played Jackson in high school, I think our freshman year, it was the last year we played them, and they kind of just walked all over us. Yep. And I've I think Jackson by a million. Jackson, Jackson by a million. Football in Ohio. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Kate Wolford wins. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Mr. Kent State over there. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to him again on signing with Kent State this week. We got our next game, Chill Coffee 1 and 6, 0 and 2 after a brutal schedule going to Miami Trace 4 and 3, 1 1 in the league. I think the going gets even more tough for Chill Coffee. I think it's good that, you know, Juan Miller and them out there, they, they've finally been figuring out on offense, but. But, man, I think that Miami Trace offense is going to be just too much for that defense. I think it's going to be Miami Trace by a couple touchdowns. 
Yeah, Chillicothe has just been having an awful year. Uh, so I know we were talking about possibly them maybe being pretty good this year, but I think we just didn't know what we were talking about early on in the season. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I so said I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna have to take Miami Trace in this one as well. All righty. We'll go Trace as well. All righty, all righty. So Trace across the board. All righty, uh, finished up the FAC. McLean, 5-2, and 1-1 one one in the league versus Washington Courthouse. I'll keep this short and sweet. It's going to be the Tigers running all over the lines. I'm gonna have to go with Washington Courthouse in this one. I okay. just think I, I like their offense. I think they got a little. I think they got a little powerful offense. It's their defense that, that gives me questions, but I think they come out top. Alrighty, on this one. I got real with my dude, Courthouse. Alrighty, all right. So Courthouse. He should. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so game that I had circled this week: Waverly five and two at Wheelersburg three and three. Uh, I, I told you earlier, I think it's going to be a good game. I think Waverly, though, that you know they've had a couple of close games against the good teams this year. I think they right the ship in this one. They they win a very very close one over a good Pirates team. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. See, it's a, it's a hard one just because it's Wheelersburg, but I, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I think Waverly just. I think they're gonna edge out a dog fight in this one. I think they're gonna win. It. Wheelersburg got a week to get healthy. Wheelersburg won. Alrighty. That's definitely not an uh, uh, unsafe choice to go. Yeah. With. <laughs> Alrighty. So we get a little TVC action. We got Athens three and four versus Wellston three and four. Um, I have to go with Athens here because I'm pretty sure if I picked Wellston, I would be assassinated on the spot here in Vinton County. <laughs> so I am going to go with Athens, home of the Joey Burrow, to win uh, by a couple of touchdowns. I, I've said it a lot tonight, but a couple of touchdowns over Wellston. Easy with that W word there, Clay. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna go with Athens as well. Just can't stand to pick a can't stand to pick the other one at all. Okay. <laughs> Anybody but Wilson's go out. <laughs> all right. All right. Keeping the TVC, we got Nelsonville, York, six and one. Uh, I'm sure that's a big game that Vinton County is looking forward to next week versus Alexander, two and five. I don't know how you can pick against the Buckeyes in this time. That's the first time and the only time you'll ever hear me say that in a microphone. I'm gonna go with the Buckeyes winning this. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with Nelsonville. I'm gonna call him Nelsonville personally. Yep. But yeah, so I think they're gonna win this one as well. I think they're just too much for him. All right. We've been, we've been watching a lot of film. Alexander's getting better each every week. So I'm going with Alexander in the upset. All righty. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Now a game of the week. The Vinton County Vikings look to keep their undefeated uh, conference record alive, staying at 6-1, looking to go 7-1, and one, looking to make River Valley uh, really just go completely, what am I looking for here, empty of water in that river. Uh, so I think it's homecoming. I think I love Vinton County. I think Vinton County is going to blow out River Valley for their homecoming here on Friday night. You don't even have to ask this question, man. I'm, 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 I'm. Vinton County by a million. You know? yeah. I, th I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a, a great game. I think Vinton County is just going to kind of run away with this one. All right. What's the spread at? <laughs> we don't take a lot of odds. Twenty-one. Right <laughs> All right. I love that. Yeah. All righty. So you heard it here first. It's Vinton County across the board. Now we're on to the biggest throw of the week. Parker is going to go out there at the 25-yard line. He's going to have – that's a cool flip. I did it on purpose. Parker is going to have five throws from the 25-yard line to win this student section pizza on Friday. But if he doesn't hit it, they got to split it with the River Valley. Let's go see how this takes place. <laughs> so, Parker, this is going to be a big throw for you. Have you been practicing? You've been stretching? What's your game plan here? Hit it first try. All right. Okay, guys, hey, you guys heard it here first. You're going to try and hit it first try. we got five tries. Parker, let's get it done. Again, we want to give Giovanni's a huge shout out for being the sponsor of this pizza giveaway. So Parker from the 25 on his first throw. Again, five throws here. This will be number one. Parker, ready when you are. All right, we got the spirit fingers going here. The throws away. Oh, just a little short. Just a little short on his first throw. So that is one of five. He's going to have four more throws here. He has an amazing American flag V shirt. It has to be for Vinton County. Oh, here he goes. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, just a little too high. Just a little too high. Kind of like the fantasy points that he scores for me on a weekly basis. Just a little too high for the other team. So, that's throw two of five. We have th throw three of five going up here. Now, student sections get a little antsy. They don't want to share that pizza with River Valley. Oh, and it's away. And it is. Oh, just a little short here. Just a little short. Again, if he doesn't hit it in these next two throws, they got to share that pizza with River Valley. And every time I say that, this student section looks like they're ready to kill. Here we go. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he is down to his last throw, ladies and gentlemen. Do they get three pizzas or do they get five pizzas? It is down to this throw. Let's get a clap going for Parker here. Let's go. All right. The throw is up. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, and he just misses. So, Parker, you want at least three pizzas for your school. You have two pizzas coming to River Valley. I still think you're going to throw all over. Was it just to get in River Valley's head to make you think that you like him so that you can beat him on Friday? Yeah, we'll say that. All righty, all righty. So that was a good call. Hey, Parker, thank you so much for uh, trying the football throw. You guys still get free pizza on Friday, just not as much. I'm sorry. This is coming to you from Vinton County. They've been amazing. Make sure that you tune in to us on Friday because we've already been watching this. The game's coming on next. Peace out, Girl Scouts, from right the way. Damn! Damn! Should we give it to him? Should we give it to him? Who threw it? Who threw it? Come here! Come here! So, and it's crazy term events and one throw on the sixth try. Clayton has one pizza for the entire student section. Listen, listen, if you are taking him to homecoming, do it now. If you are, he deserves the biggest kiss ever on Saturday night for winning pizza and right cover. Thank you for tuning in the Ride the Wave. We'll see you on Friday night.